Hi everyone, my name is King IV and this is the internal audio analytics engagement covering warranty expenses and analyzing them using data visualization. A couple of case facts. The warranty expenses are from 2003 to 2013. Uh, the VIN short form is just a short form of a unique VIN and is the first character in the field is an indication of manufacturing location. Uh, Kitcher Auto sells to dealerships, dealerships sell to end users. The claim date is the repair date, and the retail date is the date that was sold to the customer. According to the controller, virtually all warranty claims come within the first four years, and the average warranty cost per, per VIN is $1,500, but not that they have been tested in years, so something you probably should test. Uh, historically, Kitcher Auto has assumed all body types and manufacturing location have the same warranty cost per VIN. So test requirements, calculate the average warranty cost per VIN, calculate the percentage of warranty costs over time, and determine if there's any other interesting analytics. So let's get started. So I've already calculated, already imported the data. So let's create a field. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to create manufacturing location. And then what we'll see here is that based off the first digit in the VIN, if it's one, one, it's the United States, two, it's Canada, three, it's Mexico, four, five, it's the United States, and then it's Shades, Japan. So I've already copied that there. So I'm just going to, so use an if, then a left, and then the then. So now we have manufacturing location. So you can see that there. That's good. Um, and then what we're going to do here is we're going to create what we call age buckets. What we're going to do is if claim uh, minus retail date is less than zero, then we'll say then um, uh, before retail or retailed. And then we're going to go else if, and we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to go minus. Retail date uh, is less than 365 times one, then um, retailed uh, claimed years zero to one. And then essentially we're gonna repeat this process for let's say, so you said four, so let's do this. So then it is if it's greater than uh, greater than or if we see we should do greater than less than or equal to and then we'll adjust this to accordingly and then we'll go then claimed uh, years for. age bucket claim years three to four blah 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 and then if we take a quick look at that age buckets and then we're gonna look at let's say let's create another field since we have labor and parts cost we'll call it total cost which is basically gonna be the sum of labor and cost. So if we look at that very quickly, what we actually see here is that a good portion of the costs actually come in years four plus. So if we actually treat this as a table calculation, so let's do percentage total. Here is a percentage. So we'll see that more than 25% of the claims actually come after years four. So that kind of debunks the theory. Um, but what, what we also notice is that if we run some filters on manufacturing year, actually let's just change this from 
um, let me get this one. Um, change this for, to 2008. You'll see that even larger percentage. Another reason why is because if a car is retailed in 2013, it hasn't reached years four to five. So something to consider. So one, we met test objective uh, number two. What it costs over time, but we should really be filtering by let's actually do our analysis based off of 2003 to 2008, and then we'll see our percentages there. So we're going to go, we're going to call this B uh, warranty claims over time. And what we could do, uh, so that's, that's interesting. And then let's tackle A. So let's say uh, average warranty cost per VIN. The challenge here is that the records are based, each record is a claim as opposed to a vehicle. So what we're actually going to have to do, we're going to create a new formula. We're going to call it average warranty cost per VIN. So we're going to take the total cost. And then Tableau has this neat function called count distinct. So it's going to count each of the distinct records. So in this case, we're looking at VIN short form. And what this is going to give us is it's going to give us the average. So in this case, the average looks like it's $930. And uh, we can do a couple ways to check that. So we can do total cost. Uh, we can change this to Actually, we might have to show it here first, and then we'll change this to count distinct. So if we look, actually, we'll call spreadsheet mode view to look. So we'll see that there are. Forty-eight million dollars worth of warranty costs, and then fifty-two thousand. So that's about um, nine hundred thirty per. So it looks reasonable to me. Um, so we have that. Okay, that's interesting. Um, so that's the average warranty cost per VIN. Uh, what we can see is like okay, does it change by model year? Um, I don't really like that. So we can do it by model year, or maybe we can do it by like body type and model year. So you can see that there. So we can just do it by body type and then let's run a filter for 2008. So that's what we would see there. We see that there are some cars that are pretty large and um, have much higher than much lower. So what we can do actually here is add a reference line. So let's add a constant, call it 930. And this is going to be the average. Um, so we'll include that and then we'll include like a red line. And then we will actually edit this. Let's call it do custom and we'll go average boom. So then we see that there. So then we see that uh, some medium size and small cars have uh, higher and lower, and then some of the larger ones have larger. Okay, so that's good. Um, and then determine any other interesting ones. So we've seen that. It does matter where where you manufacture it, uh, what kind of car it is. So let's try the same thing. Um, let's change it to manufacturing location. So what we see, it does matter where you manufacture as well. So we see a much higher average warranty claim uh, based off that location. So we can call this one body. Let's change this to average warranty cost. Uh, let me do 
here location. And then we can also, so we have this here. What we can also do is so what we can do here is actually take a look here. Um, what we can actually do here is see if we can break it out by like body type uh, here sorry body type and see see if that matters so what we can see here actually if we even clip it here and do the percentage and then colored it so it's a little bit easier to see and then did the total cost as a label and of course make it the percentage of total uh, and then make that as a calculation so that it, it's pain. Um, this is going to be a little bit more difficult. So let's just do it this way. And then change this to percentage of total. So we do see some differences. I don't know if they're super dramatic. Um, so we look across like before, we see it ranges from really one to six. That's pretty dramatic. And then we see um, years four plus. You can see that it ranges from 27 to 36. But more or less, it's not that big a difference. So let's, uh, let's adjust this, duplicate this one. And then change this to manufacturing location. Let's add that by changing the color here. So you see that really claims do come over time pretty much in this model. So, so we can go warranty claims over time. And we can go, uh, this is body and then this is about time and that was location and then if we wanted to do one more quick graphic and then see so let's filter by the date again and then we see um say body type so we're going to use a circle diagram uh, and then what we can do there that's good we can also throw in should be able to throw in like model year if we do might have to combine them together but there you go so now we can see all the various bubbles and then we can throw in the average warranty cost there uh, and then we can do the same thing except for change um, anywhere it says body type with manufacturing location and then we can throw in the average warranty cost as a label so we're going to call this C average warranty cost body and then we're going to call this other one average warranty cost allocation so let's put it all quickly together into a dashboard so I'll expand this change this to automatic so it automatically adjusts the size so we can just I'm going to throw these down here and then I'm going to sort it out afterwards. So I actually like taking out titles. I think they're a little bit more self-explanatory than, than they are. Uh, and then throw that down there. And then we 
remove this one since we have the labels below. And drag this over. Remove this. Remove this. Good. And then let's throw in the dashboard title. So we're going to go uh, warranty analysis body type. Just throw that over there. And then a couple things. So obviously you can start printing this up as well. But we're gonna throw a quick dashboard action here. We're gonna make it select. And we're gonna go uh, uh, dynamic filters. And then we can see how all of the filters adjust based off of our line there. And then as well, we can start Or we can probably get rid of this. Uh, we can also throw in a filter. So in this case, it's a model year. It's probably a good filter. Throw that into the middle. Adjust the size. And then right now we're just including 2003, 2008, but we can always adjust it to make it 2007, for example, or expand it all the way to 2013 and see how, how it would impact. Some really quick analysis. Uh, we'll probably be doing a bit more in class, so make sure to pay, make sure, hopefully you pay attention in class. Uh, we'll do a we'll run through a couple different scenarios. But a really quick way to see how warranty claims, for example, small B 2004 have actually come in over time. Or this one, which is small A. Uh, and then you can see the average warranty cost up there as well. Perfect. Uh, and then we're, basically we do the same thing for manufacturing location. And then this provides a powerful dashboard because it shows that one, the average warranty cost per vehicle isn't $1,500, it's actually lower. And actually warranty costs do come after the fourth year up to or upwards of 40%. Of so pretty high depending on with the model year that you're looking to. And uh, so you can also provide different analysis. You can do like a time series. You could um, look at, we also have claim types. Uh, so for example, if you want to an analyze like how the different claim types have come over time, uh, that's interesting as well. So, uh, so some different analysis that you can perform uh, to help you with your analysis and uh, using visualization is a really easy way, interactive way to really help analyze and look at the data in an interesting and uh, I think in my opinion a very visual visual way that's easy to understand and digest especially for non-data analytics specialists. So hopefully that helps. Um, if you have any questions uh, feel free to leave it in the comments below. Thank you.